What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious. You guys are the 11 crew and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. All right guys, what I set out to make today originally was a trident farm. Uh, then I started doing it and uh, I realized that I wasn't getting any tridents. And that's because, at least from my testing, you can only get tridents from naturally spawned drowned and not from converted uh, zombies. But you can still get nautilus shells you can still get um gold and iron armor and weapons and stuff like that what so what does that mean it means you can get nuggets because obviously all you got to do is is take these out and put them in a furnace so you can get nuggets which can turn into gold or iron iron nuggets can turn into obviously the iron and uh nautilus shells and of course you'll get your uh your leather you know leather armor as well and your rotten flesh so it's still a very good farm to have uh, plus XP. So if you walk around, uh, I had already killed a, a large amount of zombies. But I mean, as you can see, there's still still a decent amount. So you just come by. Okay, you would just come by and you would uh, you'd kill them. I have it turned off right now. Obviously, I have it daytime. Uh, but this, this to me is a really, really fun farm. I really like it. Uh, I ran out of space with this. I forgot how quickly the these weapons and stuff fill up. So we're going to, uh, we're going to make this... We're going to make it have a lot more chests. Because uh, you're going to need it. For sure, you're going to need it. Okay, so just uh, just keep that in mind. Now, you cannot go AFK in terms of killing. But once these zombies... Let's say the zombies spawn with iron armor. Or gold armor. Or leather armor. Once they convert, all of that falls off. Ooh. So, they will... That stuff will auto-collect. Even when, even when you're not... Um, even when you're not actively playing the game like if you just stand right here or something like that and you go ahead make sure you know obviously everything around you is lit or you know there's nothing else out here i'm building this in a flat world but uh presumably you're going to be building this like underground somewhere just make sure you know nothing can spawn around you just go afk uh for a little bit and when you come back this whole thing should be filled up just like this with uh all the iron and gold and you could take it out and put it in a, a furnace or you can have a hopper underneath we're not going to do that Okay, we're not going to do that at all, but we are going to... Look at all this XP. Uh, we are going to build this thing. This is what you're going to need. You're going to need a... Well, you don't need it, but I would suggest you get a red redstone lamp. You don't need a sword either. That's just to kill them. You're going to need some glass. Uh, building block of your choice. I'm going to be using stone. You are going to need a ton of water, so make sure you have uh, a bunch of buckets of water. You're going to need a lot, or at least have a way of getting them quick. Uh, it's going to be very, very helpful. I'm using an iron trap door. I just like the way it looks. I like the fact that it can't be pushed down because we're not going to be powering it. So you could use a regular one, but uh, I like this one. Uh, lever for the redstone lamp. You're going to need a bunch of hoppers. Obviously, excuse me, you need a spawner, uh, but I'm just going to be using these. A trap chest, a regular chest, and like I said, so your lever. What you're going to do is you want to make sure your spawner is the eighth block up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is the eighth block. Okay. Then you can break the two underneath. And then what I like to do is put two more on top. And now we're going to do our, uh, our roof. Okay. So it's just going to be block there. And then you're going to come out one, two, three, four. Go to the other side. One, two, three, four. Go to the other side. One, two, three, four. Other side. One, two, three, four. And now you're just going to kind of fill them in three, two, one until it makes, you know, everything meets up at that point. Okay. So you're just going to go like that. I mean, that's, that's fairly simple, All right? That's not, that's pretty self-explanatory. Cool. And actually for this one, we're going to come out one more. Sorry. It's five. I forgot. The top is just a little different. Now keep in mind, if this is underground and there's nothing on top, but more, uh, like more bricks or whatever, you don't have to do anything. Oh, I didn't take my half slab, sorry. But uh, I'm going to put half slabs because I'm not in a in a regular world. And obviously mine is open. So unless you're building this in a giant cavern that you've dug out for yourself, uh, I don't think you really need to put the slabs on top. But you never know. You know, you, you, may, have, you may very well dig it out. So I'm going to put the slabs on top. So if there's nothing above it, I do suggest you just put some slabs up here. 
Uh, I don't know if anything is going to spawn. It's outside of the um, spawning area for this, but you never know. Let me put the zombie in there. Okay. And this just prevents zombies from spawning up here. So you are losing two spawnable spaces, whereas if you break it, it could spawn up here, but then they may just sit up there, and you don't want that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing down here, only we are going to make it shorter. This was five. We're going to make this four. So come out on each side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Same thing on all sides. All sides. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And then again, we're just going to come across like that. All right. Beautiful. Cool. And then uh, you're going to have to half slab under here or just keep it lit up unless it's solid. If it's already full solid, then don't worry about it. You're not going to have to do that. Um, obviously, I have to because it's not here, but we'll do that in a minute. So next, what we're going to do is we're just going to come all the way down with this. Okay. Except for the middle here, the ends are going to have that on it with, we don't need that anymore. With, oops, I like to put it up on top just in case some water falls later. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go all the way around. Just keep in mind on these ends right here, on the second one up, you want to put that. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I just wanted to show you I half slabbed everything in there as well. And then we just close it up like that. Cool. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh you have to come up one two like that whoops so we're going to come down i think how much is it one two three four uh, so we're going to come down three from these so we're going to go one two, right it's one it's three let me just make sure it's actually yeah let's do three here and then we'll, we'll, we'll add more to it afterwards so one, two, three. Now keep in mind, because there's glass, you do want to make sure that it's really, really dark. Uh, you don't have to use glass. Uh, so if, if you're going to keep an area really, really light around this, around the spawner, then go ahead and do not use glass. You can still use glass on the bottom, but this area right here needs to be really, really dark. So if you have, you know, if you, if you are building this in an area that's like a, a cavern, right? But let's say there's lights on the top parts close enough to this. I would say everything I'm doing right now where, where there's glass, just go ahead and do not make it glass. Okay? So that bottom part, you can still have glass. The top part, uh, maybe not if there's a question. If you're not getting anything spawning, you probably have it too light. So I, I would suggest you change all of this to, uh, to, to not glass. Um, we are going to need to keep this area open because we do have to get in there. Okay? So next up, what you're going to do is you're going to come out from each end. You're going to go one, two, like that. And then you're going to come out. You want to make sure this is five across for now. We're going to break it, but you want to make sure for now it's five across. So just come out one, two, and make sure it's five. So it's two on each side of the middle one, right? One, two, break that. Then come out each side, one, two, and one, two. And same thing here. All right, so you want to make sure it's five. And then all you're doing is you're stair stepping inside. You're coming in this way, in this way, in this way, in. Okay? So everything has to go inside these. So in this, and it should just leave a nice little gap of one in there. Okay, and then what I like to do is just break these ends off. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. I, I like to. There's, there's no need for them. And I think it just makes a cleaner design. Okay, so we're just going to put that like that. Cool. Now what we're going to do, uh, well, you actually have to get in here with the water. So I'll tell you what, we'll leave this for the end. Okay? We will leave this part for the end so that way um, it's not that, it's not, it's easier for you guys if you're building it in survival. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come down like this, right? Just like this. And keep in mind, we are going to be adding a lot more chests. Uh, like I said, I did not realize how fast everything was going to get filled up. And you can also, okay, if, if everything's filling up quick for you, I'll show you. So what we're going to do is, it's one away, right? 
So these are where our chests are gonna go. So let's get rid of that. So out of the end, come a block out and go like this. That's just for this. You guys know I'm like OCD with that. All right, so come out one and then go one, two, three. Um, but what I was gonna say is right here, okay, instead of just doing that, what you could do is you could put a, a hopper, okay, and then have a double chest like that underneath. And you could do that for all of these. So why don't we just go ahead and do the bigger version just to show you how much storage you actually can put here. Okay. So we'll just alternate between chapped and regular chest. And we'll do that. Um, we'll do that for all of these sides. So again, right where I put these, you're going to break them and just put down three hoppers facing that way. Then break the two, two, like that. Whoops. I guess we could do the floor. All right. So we're going to put a trap chest in the middle and these going like this all the way around. Okay, now that that's done, now you can go ahead and put the regular chest on top. Or you could do another double chest if you'd like. That's entirely up to you. You could totally, you know, go this way with it as well. All right, so again, let's let's do that then. Now, ah, you know what? No, let's not do that because let's not do that right now. Because it's going to be I think it'll actually be a little harder to reach uh, these guys killing them. So let's just let's just keep it. You already have the extra storage, a lot of extra storage uh, in here right now. So let's Let's just keep it like that. Okay. And then essentially what you're going to do is you're just going to mimic these. So you're just going to go across like that. So diagonally. So one, whoops, one, two, three, four. All right. One, two, three, four. And then you're just going to leave yourself a little area to get in. So I'm going to leave myself this. Okay. So then what you want to do is that hopper is going to go into this the middle chest. And then all the rest of these hoppers are going to go there. Okay, we'll do three and then you just kind of have to decide where to stop same thing here middle and then that one so the middle hopper isn't going to get as filled as the rest there we go so you can kind of come up here and go middle then this one and one two three and then i guess four and then this one one two three four yeah so each of those are going to get four right so you do the middle by itself then the left and the end one. So one, two, three, four. Those hoppers are all facing into each other. All right, and then this one. So one, two, three, four. Oops, I guess five for that one. All right, so make sure these, there we go. Then one, two, three, four. Oh, that's what it is. It's This one doesn't count as one of them. So then it's one, two, three. Maybe it does, I don't know. You guys see the point. The point is, the middle hoppers are only being fed by each of these. So that one is only going to go into there. That one is only going to go into there. The rest of these are all going into this one. Same thing around. Okay? So just keep that in mind. And one thing I didn't do there, which you could do here, is just put, put that there. Like so. For the chests. There we go. Boom. Okay. Now, we're going to do, it's, it's one, right? Yeah, so now we're just going to do one high like this with the glass. Okay. Just like so. And then we're going to take, hold on, let me just finish this. And then we're going to take our trap doors and we're just going to put them right on the top. All right. And these will, this will actually prevent the, uh, the little mobs from, from getting out. So you do not have to worry about that. Actually, I kind of don't like that here. I thought I was going to like it. I kind of don't. <laughs> so I'm going to get rid of that. Yeah, so the baby zombies uh, will not, or baby drowned or, or zombies, will not um, come out at all. I had this going for a little bit, and, and none of them came out. They all just stay in there because they just can't fit. Okay. Cool. So now you can get back up there since you have that open. Okay. And before you do any of the water or the water inside... I want you just to come around here like this, right? Ah, we have to get in here. So one in the middle, one there, one here. Basically, you're going to put it against every wall until it's completely uh, stopped, right? You want the water to be stopped. Very, very still. All right, so just go all the way around. I was going to cut away, but I'll just do this with you. Just make sure you hit each gap. You can turn around and see 
that it's on everyone because it's not flowing. Okay, that's very, very important. I love the fact that zombies and uh, zombies now drown, uh, now like fall down. I don't know. If, I don't even know if it happens to all the mobs. I think so, but I don't know. But regardless, who cares? It happens with zombies, which is what we want. Now, the block underneath, so make sure you have it. I probably should have told you to designate it. Now you know it's this one. Just put your water bucket, and you'll see all the water will flow. Okay? Now you can take your glass. You're going to come up two. Okay? So just go around two really quick. Okay? So two high. And you'll notice the little, little gaps there. Uh, you could leave it. It's entirely up to you, but, I mean... Perfect opportunity to shape it up a little bit, so I don't really know why you'd leave it. Gives it a nice kind of like a little domey effect to it. So we're definitely going to take care of that. Okay, so let's just finish this. Cool, so then all you're going to do is just come up there and place a piece of glass. Like so. Beautiful. And that's it. That's your whole farm. And then, you know, decorate around here wherever you want. Now you got this extra storage. So if we turn this off, right? Uh, I have to turn off the daylight cycle. Hold on. So if we go down here to always day, right? Then we come here to time, midnight. Now we should see uh, them form really, or start spawning really quick. Okay, maybe not really quick, but they'll still start spawning, I promise. Hey, little witch. There we go. He's already down. Another one. All right, so they'll start falling in and... Oh, perfect. So you get to see this guy without his armor on. So let's just... I'm actually gonna, just going to speed this up a little bit. So you can uh, see what happens and see where their armor goes. Okay, so you can see armor, armor's in there. Uh, so that's that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. And like I said, you can filter this out even more. You can filter it into a furnace system, however you want to do it. Uh, that's entirely up to you. I personally do not mind collecting the stuff manually, but uh, I think it's a great XP farm. It's a great way to get yourself some Nautilus shells. Uh, it's a great way to get yourself some iron ingots. Some some. Um, Gold ingots, some leather armor, you know, just to, I don't know, just to have it, fill up an armory with it, right? But it's, I think it's a really, really fun system to have. So I'm happy, even though I don't get tridents out of it, uh, I get a lot of other stuff, and I'm really, really, really happy. So the Nautilus shells, obviously, you get by killing them, not by, not just, it doesn't just auto-collect the Nautilus shells. The only thing it auto-collects is anything that they're um, holding, right? So if they're holding uh, swords, or if they have armor... Uh, you can get all of that in here as well. Chain mail, chain mail as well. That's that'll be cool for here. All right. So anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for me. I hope you guys like it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you do, if it works for you. Uh, I'm out. Peace.